Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be creating this look using the new Desi and Katie Dose of Colors collaboration. I am so excited for you guys, huge congrats. I can tell you poured your heart and soul into this collection. I mean, it really shows everything from the colors, the formula, the packaging, it's just a stunning collection. And I really wanted to create a look around the shadow harpoon because the girls did mention that that was the one eyeshadow that they wanted to make super unique and unlike anything else you have ever seen and I couldn't agree more. It is a very unique eyeshadow. It's the one I have on my lids, this smoky green gold reflect eyeshadow. It's hard to explain, it's so unique. Um, kind of reminds me of a mermaid. So I really wanted to revolve everything else around this eyeshadow. I'm not really gonna focus on swatches today because I feel like I'm sure at this point you've seen them all over the internet. I just really wanted to focus on creating a beautiful look. So if you guys are interested, keep on watching. All right, I'm starting with the eyes first today and I've already applied a little bit of concealer just around the eyes and on my pimples so that they don't distract you guys. <laughs> and I've already primed my eyes with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I find that a lighter weight primer such as this one works best with the wet shadow formula from the palette. And the girls did mention that their palette, which is right here, is meant to be an accent palette. So these colors are meant to be used with other, yes, I have gone ham on this color down here, Harpoon, which is the one I'm gonna be using today. You are meant to use other staple matte and transition shadows that you already own. So I'm gonna dip into my go-to palette first. This is the one that I travel with. It's all Makeup Geek shadows. So let me open it up and show it to you guys. So I usually travel with this palette. It's got a little bit of everything, but I'm gonna focus on using more of the transition shades and this green one right here to pull more of the green tones in the shadow Harpoon. And to make blending easier, I'm gonna take this MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Powder and I'm just gonna apply it to my brow bone down to the crease. And the first shadow I'm gonna use as a transition shade is this one right here. It is called Preppy by Makeup Geek. So I'm applying this color to the crease, starting with the outer V and then bringing it all the way in. And then to deepen up the crease, I'm gonna use Barcelona Beach and apply it to the same area and just really buff it out. And I actually think I'm gonna focus more of this color right here on the outer V portion and just slightly bring it in. And then because Harpoon is a really beautiful green gold eyeshadow, I wanna pull some more of those green tones. So I'm gonna go in with Enchanted Forest. And I'm just gonna pop this shadow right here on the outer V. I am gonna create a smoky black wing using eyeshadow. So I wanna build most of the color on the outer portion. And I'm just taking a large fluffy blending brush and blending all these colors together. And I'm gonna use this black shadow down here in the corner, Corrupt by Makeup Geek, to build the wing. And for this part, I'm just using an angled eyeshadow brush and I'm just gonna pack the color on right here. It's gonna look crazy for a bit, not even like a wing, but once we clean it up, it'll pull itself together. So I'm just packing it on right here against the lash line. And then this brush has another angled side to it, so I just flip it around and further define that wing. You can also grab another or a separate angled eyeliner brush to further create the wing. I'm gonna be using my Dior Star Foundation since I already have a little bit of concealer on, I don't wanna wipe it away. So I'm just taking a concealer brush and I'm gonna go right under here, like so. And you can see that wing being created. And then I just take my sponge and further clean it up. All right, now I can go in with Harpoon. And honestly, the reason this shadow looks like this is because these two are meant to be used wet. Keep that in mind because if you swatch them without wetting them first, they don't look as intense. These two are meant to be used dry and applied with your finger. You can apply all of them with your finger, but um, my experience, I kind of like the way this one goes on with a brush, a wet brush, better than my fingertip. So I'm just wetting my brush off camera because if not, it can be a disaster. And then I'm picking up Harpoon and then I'm gonna glide it onto my eyelid. I absolutely love the effect this shadow gives when wet. It just, it just looks like gloss on the lids. It's so beautiful. Almost like a mermaid, kind of reminds me of a mermaid a little bit. Definitely try and get it in one swipe though, because if not, I find that it tends to shift a little and you won't get that nice glossy wet effect. Try and do it in one clean swipe. And I was gonna buff out the edges of this shadow where it meets the matte shadows, but I kinda like the cut crease-ish effect I'm getting. So I'm just taking that same brush that I used to apply that shadow, and I'm gonna further clean it up. 
round it out a little more. And while we're here on the eyes, I'm also going to apply Suze, this really pretty shimmery shadow right here in the corner. I'm going to apply that to the inner corner, also meant to be used wet, so I'm going to wet my brush and then pat it onto the inner corners. Okay, not the best idea to apply a wet shadow when you have concealer on the inner part of your eye that isn't set. Um, but overall, the shadow, the wet formula is really beautiful. They are a little tricky to work with. Again, try and get it in one clean swipe. Don't try and buff it around or mess with it once it's on the eyes. Once it's there, it'll stay put. Um, if you try and blend it afterwards, I feel like it just doesn't look as good as when you just have one even clean swipe on the lid and on the inner corners. So try and get it on the first time. Uh, don't mess with it. Uh, make sure you wet those two shadows. And overall, I think that these shadows are absolutely stunning. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and also apply some mascara and then move on to the skin. I wasn't planning on doing my base on camera because I wanted to focus more so on the collection, but a lot of you have commented in the past that you like seeing me do the base and to never skip it. So I'm not gonna skip it today. I'm gonna do it really quick and then go back into the collection. So for my foundation, I'm gonna be using that same Dior Star Foundation I used around the eyes. And I've already primed my skin with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. So I can go straight into the foundation. This foundation is a little bit darker, but it'll balance out with the concealer I'm gonna be highlighting with. And to conceal and highlight, I'm using Tarte's Shape Tape in light medium to balance out this foundation. <laughs> And lately what I like to do is apply it underneath the eyes and then drag whatever is left over on the sponge onto the center of the face, like the forehead, bridge of the nose, cupid's bow, and chin. So I don't apply any additional concealer to those areas, I just work with what is on the sponge. And then to set the entire face, I'm using my super duper fancy La Mer powder in a poof, and underneath the eyes I'm using my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Uh, moving on to bronzer next. I'm using the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in the shade 20M. And then up next are the new highlighters from the Desi Katie collection. And let's dip into the highlighters, shall we? We have two new highlighters from the Desi Katie collection. We have Fuego and Mirame. And looking at Mirame, I think it's gonna be too dark for me. This is what it looks like in comparison to Fuego. Fuego. <laughs> so these are the two highlighters. This one, Fuego, will definitely match me. I think it's gonna be a perfect match. This one is gonna be better for a medium to deep skin tone. I'm gonna swatch them side by side, just on my fingertip really quick. I don't really wanna focus on swatches because there's already a bunch of swatches of this collection out there. I wanna focus more on creating a look using the collection. But here are the two swatches. So you can see Mirame is just a little more towards the tan side and a little peachy, and then Fuego is a true champagne golden color. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply Fuego. And I'm gonna be using an LH306 brush to apply the highlighters. So let's get real close so we can see it in action. So pretty. I already am obsessed with the Dose of Colors. I believe they're called Supreme Glow Highlighters. So I already knew I was gonna love these, but wow. Such a glossy effect. The whole collection is very glossy and wet and the focus is really the glow. I mean, you can tell based off their images from the collection, it's just stunning if you wanna create a really glossy wet effect when it comes to the skin, the eyes, the lips. This collection will definitely do that. I'm gonna go a little ham with the highlighter today. Nose. Wow. Oh, so pretty. A little bit on the tip of the nose and a little bit on the chin, but not too much. So now for blush, because the eyes do have that really mermaid green effect going, I wanna keep the blush really neutral, so I'm gonna be using this Hourglass Ambient Strobe Lighting Blush in the shade Brilliant Nude. And then to blend everything out and make everything look really soft and pretty, especially 
uh, where I applied a little too much highlighter right here on the forehead, I'm taking a large fluffy brush and I'm just gonna buff across the entire face in small circular motions. Really softly, you're not pressing this brush onto the skin really hard. And I honestly think this will become one of my daily go-to highlighters because the color is really perfect and the formula, again, I love the Dose of Color Supreme Glow highlighters, so this is no exception. It is just as good and the color is perfect. All right, to complete the eyes, it's gonna be really simple and quick. I'm just going to apply the same shadows that are in the crease to the lower lash line. So I'm gonna start with Barcelona Beach and Preppy mixed together along the lower lash line. And then with a really teeny tiny precision brush, I'm gonna apply Enchanted Forest towards the outer portion of the lower lash line. And I'm going back in with that same brush that I used to apply the first colors and just buffing these shadows together. And I'm gonna add fuego also to the inner corners. Like I said, the wet eyeshadow soothes on that inner corner since I had concealer there, didn't mix well together. So I'm just going back over it with the powder highlighter. And all that's left is lashes. I'm gonna pop on the same ones I've been using, the Extra Oomph by Velour, and then we'll try on the nude lipsticks. And now, for the moment we have all been waiting for, I'm gonna try on the two nude lipsticks, No Shade and More Creamer Please. More Creamer Please is the darker of the two, so I'm gonna start off with that one because I feel like it might be too dark for me and I'll end up wearing no shade for the intro and outro of this video. So let's try on No Creamer Please first. And I'm not gonna use a lip liner to get the true um, color payoff of these lip colors. Okay, so this is More Creamer Please and it's definitely not a nude on me. It's actually translating very uh, orange on me, which my lips and my skin tone, they do that. That's why I struggle with nude lipsticks. They turn everything really brassy and orange. So because this has that slight orange undertone to it, it's going to pull a lot more of that color onto my lips. So um, this is definitely not a nude for me, but I could see it being a nude for a medium to darker skin tone. Just think of Desi's skin tone. She's a little more on the tan side. So that totally makes sense why this is a good nude for a medium to deep skin tone. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and now try on No Shade. All right, this is definitely my kind of nude. I really like the color. It's almost like a neutral pink, not too pink or too peachy of an undertone. It's a perfect nude. With a little liner, you can further define the lips. So I might throw in a liner, um, but before I do that, I wanna also try on over the top a gloss, which is a clear gloss with a lot of gold glitter. Um, so while it looks intimidating, it doesn't show up like a glittery lip. So I'm going to just tap a little bit of this gloss onto the center of my lip. Whenever I use a gloss, I don't go directly from the applicator. I like to pick it up with my fingertip and just tap it on. That way also you're not getting your uh, lip color that you have on back into the lip gloss tube. I hate when that happens, so. This is over the top gloss on top of no shade, right? I have no shade on? Yes. <laughs> this is over the top gloss on top of no shade. Really beautiful. It's a great nude that I could see working for a lot of lighter to medium skin tones. It might pull a little um, orange on some people from what I have seen, but on me, it's like a slight, mm, like a little bit, but I really like the nude. It's a, it's a good nude to go with such a dramatic eye, so. And I think I'm gonna end the video here. I really love the way this lip looks with the entire look, so I don't wanna mess with it. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully you got some inspiration when it comes to using the Shadow Harpoon, since it is so unique. Again, a huge congrats to Desi and Katie and Dose of Colors. The whole collection is just stunning. It's definitely worth checking out. I mean, everything just like, like, don't you just want this in your collection? The packaging is so beautiful. Um, so yeah, huge congrats, you guys. I really enjoyed using this collection. And let me know what caught your guys' eyes or something in particular that you're eyeing from the collection or that you would want me to use in another tutorial, um, especially since I didn't use any of the liquid lipsticks. Let me know and I will do that for you guys. And with that said, you know what's coming. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.